I'm not going to waste your time with some fancy intro. I'm just going to let you know that all the timestamps for everything I talk about in this video, as well as the links, are going to be the descriptions. So let's start. Before we can make any corrections to your in-game sensitivity, we need to first disable all unwanted external mouse settings that may conflict with our future corrections. Uh, first starting with any Windows OS settings. Uh, so first you're going to go to your settings, then you hit your devices. Within your devices, you're going to go to mouse, then go down to additional mouse options. In the mouse properties window, you're going to go to pointer options. And in the motion section, you want to do two things. You want to first disable enhance pointer precision. This is Windows version of mouse acceleration, which is something you do not want when playing in any FPS game. And then second, you want to go to select pointer speed and make sure that it's completely in the center. And you'll know it's in the center if it's on the sixth line or the fifth line if you don't include the far left and the far right. Uh, from there, you're gonna hit apply and then hit okay. Next, we're gonna change your mouse DPI and pull rate. Most modern gaming mice come with its own proprietary app that allows you to change your DPI, pull rate, RGB, etc. Uh, what we're looking for is two things. Uh, one, we're going to locate your mouse DPI and set it to your desired DPI. Uh, most pro players play at around 800 DPI, but really it could be whatever you personally want, and I'll explain later why. Uh, then you're going to locate your pull rate. Uh, the pulling rate is how often your CPU asks for your mouse position. So 1000 pull rate pulling rate is one millisecond delay and 500 has a two millisecond delay uh, and now before you go thinking oh a thousand is the way to go you need to consider a few things um, although 1000 is the most responsive your mouse can be at 500 you get some unique and very theoretical benefits at a 500 pull rate your cpu only asks for your position half as often so in theory Mistakes you make moving your mouse in game may not register making your mouse movements feel smoother potentially. Uh, also, if you have a weaker CPU, uh, lowering your pull rate will give it some more headroom for other applications. Uh, if you're worried about not having that one extra millisecond response time, uh, you need to realize that it may, you might not even notice the difference. An average gamer's reaction time is around 180 to 220 milliseconds, so adding one millisecond changing your pull rate to 500 is not going to be the reason why you lose gunfights. Okay, now understanding DPI. In this example, I have two mouse settings, both an in-game sensitivity of five, with the only difference being the mouse DPI. In this example, mouse one has a DPI of 800 and an in-game sensitivity of five. For this imaginary game, if I move the mouse three inches to the right, I will perform a perfect 360 turn in-game. Now in mouse two, at 400 dpi with the same 5 in-game sensitivity, I have to move my mouse 6 inches to the right to perform that same 360 because it's half the dpi of the first, so I would have to do double the work physically to achieve the same result. Now if we double the in-game sensitivity of mouse 2 from 5 to 10, we can perform that same 360 movement by moving the mouse 3 inches to the right just like the first mouse, because we doubled the in-game sensitivity to compensate for the DPI. Now our next step is to locate your INI file. First you will locate your File Explorer folder, click on Documents, My Games, Rainbow Six Siege. Now in this folder you will find a folder with a lot of letters and numbers. This is your account. If you have more than one, then that means that you have more than one account on your computer. I have two. One is my main, and the other is my alternate account I use for streaming and playing with friends. Select your desired account, and within that folder you will only have one document labeled Game Settings. This is your account's INI file. Go ahead and click that file, and open it up. Now within the INI file, you're going to scroll down until you get to the section that says Input. This is where we're going to make all our changes. There are two settings that we will be changing. One is our mouse sensitivity multiplier unit, and the second is the X factor aiming. Let's start with the X factor aiming first. X factor aiming is our in game aim down sight sensitivity multiplier. By default, Rainbow Six Siege has it where the ADS is a movement range between 1 to 83, 
where 83 is equal to a one-to-one -one ratio of what your hip fire speed is so your vertical and horizontal sensitivity if you were to change the x factor aiming to the following number 0.016667 it will turn the ADS slider into a true percentage slider where now it's a 1 to 100% speed of your hip fire sensitivity meaning at 100% it's a 1 to 1 ratio where your hip fire sensitivity is which is great for fine tuning your ADS speed now lastly we will adjust our mouse sensitivity multiplier unit this is the bread and butter of aim tuning for this, I will outsource some help from our website called mousesensitivity.com. Using this site, I can get a better understanding of the type of multiplier unit I want to set based on the playstyle. If you're a wrist player that prefers quick flicks, I recommend adjusting the multiplier unit around a measurement of 6 to 8 inches to perform a 360 spin in game. For arm players, I recommend around 10 to 20 inches. With the current settings in this example, at 5 in-game sensitivity with our default 0.02000 multiplier, 800 dpi, it would take 15.7 inches of mouse movement from left to right to perform a perfect 360 in-game. But the thing is, what if playing at an in-game sensitivity of 5 is too fast and playing at 4 is too slow? How can I fine tune it to get a number in between? That's where the multiplier unit changes come in. By decreasing the multiplier, you are doing two things. One, adding adjustments between the numbers on the in-game slider through the INI file. And two, smoothing out any imperfections in the game's aiming engine. For Rainbow Six Siege, hundreds of players have adopted to the following multiplier unit number. 0 0.002230. If I input that multiplier unit into our calculator and readjust our in-game sensitivity to compensate for the changes, it will look like this. 45 in-game sensitivity with our new 0.002230 unit multiplier. At 800 dpi, it will be a 15.6 inches either left or right on your mouse movement to do a perfect 360 in-game. With this new change, we now have more fine-tuning adjustments provided by the in-game slider. I will link the website I'm using in the description and you can play around with the numbers till you find something you're looking for. A word of warning, do not go any lower than the 0.002230. The game engine does not register well with anything lower than that and the number has been praised by professionals to provide maximum aim finding tuning flexibility and removes any aiming stuttering or jittering you feel while aiming down sights in game. Also, just a side note, the INI file is also where you can find the FPS limiter within Rainbow Six Siege, as well as your data centers. So you can actually select which data center you want to connect to every time you log into the game. I hope uh, you have a better understanding of how to fine tune your aim here on uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I put all the links to everything I talked about in the description. Uh, if you liked what you saw, consider subscribing, maybe even like and share the video so that other people can fine-tune their aim and get better at this game so we can all grow together. Uh, appreciate all your time. Thanks. Peace.